If you're looking for the absolute best options at preventing pregnancy, look no further. These birth control options are almost 100% effective and can last for years. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. We've reached the point where we can talk about the most effective birth control options. They're all over 99% effective, up to 99.9%. .9%. As always, they have their own risks and benefits that will help you make your decision. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. An intrauterine device, or IUD, is a small T-shaped piece of plastic that is inserted into the uterus. There are four hormone-containing IUDs and one non-hormone-containing IUD. The most popular hormonal IUD is the Mirena. It releases progestin just like the Depo shot, so it stops the ovaries from releasing an egg, and it thickens the mucus at the cervix to stop sperm from entering. It's easy to use because once you have it, there's nothing else you have to do, and it can stay in the uterus for up to seven years. Having it placed is invasive though because it requires going to the doctor for a speculum exam and the inserter is placed through the cervix to release it. This can be uncomfortable and cause cramping, so take ibuprofen beforehand and it will resolve. You can't use an IUD if the inside of your uterus has a distorted shape. If you have certain cancers like cervical, endometrial, or breast, various types of pelvic infections, or current gonorrhea or chlamydia infection. It's not hormone-free, so it can have an effect on your period. Many people will have decreased flow, while others will stop having a period completely, which is okay. Other benefits include reducing menstrual cramping and pain caused by endometriosis. Two very rare health risks are that the IUD can move and sometimes get stuck in the wall of the uterus or poke a hole through it. This would require a short surgery to remove the IUD. And although it is extremely effective at preventing pregnancy, if you were to become pregnant, there is an increased chance of an ectopic pregnancy, which is a pregnancy outside of the uterus and can be life-threatening. Side effects are temporary, but can include headache, breast tenderness, irregular bleeding and spotting while your body gets used to the hormone, and cramping. Once it's in, there is nothing else to do. It is completely reversible. When it's placed, there are strings that remain outside of the uterus just past the cervix, so your doctor can do a speculum exam, grasp the strings, and pull the IUD out. Some partners may say they can feel the strings, but otherwise it's completely private. The non-hormonal IUD is called Paragard. It's a similar T-shaped device that is placed into the uterus like the Mirena, but rather than using hormone, it uses copper. The copper causes inflammation inside the uterus, so the environment is not right for sperm and eggs to survive, and it can stay in place for up to 10 years. The conditions to use Paragard are similar to Mirena, except you can use it if you have breast cancer, but you can't use it if you have Wilson's disease, where your body can't handle copper properly. It is hormone-free, but it can cause an increase in your menstrual flow and cramping. It doesn't generally have other health benefits. The health risks, side effects, not requiring any other steps, the complete reversibility, and the complete privacy are the same as Mirena. Next is the implant called Nexplanon. It's a small, flexible plastic rod, similar in size to a matchstick, that is injected into your arm right here or right here. It works like the other hormone-containing options by releasing progestin, which stops your ovaries from releasing an egg, and it thickens the mucus at the cervix to stop sperm from entering the uterus. It can last up to three years. It's easy to use because once it's inserted, there's nothing else to do. It is invasive though because it requires your doctor to inject it with a needle, but it's fast and they'll numb the area beforehand. There's really only one condition where you definitely can't use the Nexplanon, and it's if you have breast cancer. It is not hormone-free. Due to this, it can decrease flow or completely stop your menstrual periods, and it can help with reducing cramping and endometriosis pain. Like all hormonal options, it can increase your risk of blood clots. Other health risks are that if it's not placed properly, it can damage the muscle, nerves, arteries, or veins in your arm. Side effects are similar to Mirena, including irregular bleeding while your body gets used to the hormone, headache, nausea, and ovarian cysts. You don't need to remember anything extra. It is completely reversible. To have it removed, your doctor will make a small incision and pull it out. It is completely private. You may just have a small scar on your arm where it was inserted. In the next video, we'll learn about the last three options, two of which are permanent. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video.
Then check out this other video to keep learning.